So hi guys, Ron Guruji here and today I am going to talk about Gcam on iQOO 3 and other Vivo phones. But before we do that, if you are new here, press the subscribe button and the bell icon for all the notifications and let's get started. So, Gcam is one thing that has totally totally changed how normal people just take photographs on their phone. Today, Gcam is such beautiful quality that most of the phones including OnePlus, Galaxies, People are installing Gcams and using Gcams instead of their stock camera apps because the post processing is so much better and the quality comes out to be so so good that it is absolutely amazing. Now in case of iQOO 3 there is a lot of discrepancy about how many Gcam versions are available and what to use. So if you are not part of the iQOO 3 telegram group or let's say you are not sure of what the steps are, here it is. So a lot of really really cool people in that iQOO 3 telegram group found out a camera app that actually Gcam app that actually works really well. They also made an XML so that users don't have to go through all the trouble of trying to find what XML to download and how to set it up etc etc. So I am here to help you with that and I really want to thank all those guys who did this right because there are a lot of guys who keep finding out stuff for iQOO 3 including me. <laughs> If you like that, do like, share and subscribe guys, please. Yeah, so talking about the iQOO 3, as you can see, the auxiliary cameras are not supported. So the main 48 megapixel is only supported. The auxiliary cameras are not supported. And yes, the front camera is supported. So what you're going to do is basically, there's a link down below in the description. You go there and you download Gcam from there. Once you've downloaded the Gcam file, it's an APK file, go, your, go in your file manager if you have not enabled uh, installed from unknown source in your privacy settings. You go to settings, privacy, install from unknown sources and tap there. Now you will be allowed to install that APK. Install that APK. Once you are done installing that APK, all you have to do is download the second file mentioned in the description which is the XML file. You take that XML file and all you have to do with that XML file is very very simple. What you do is you go to the file manager in your file manager, once you're in your root folder, which is like the base of all your storage, basically the first thing, first page you see when you go into your file manager in iQOO 3, you create a new folder named Gcam, where G and C are capital, right? Once you create Gcam, create a folder with configs, C-O-N-F-I-G-S 7, where C is capital, and you add this XML file given to you. Now that you've done this, all you have to do is you have to go to your Gcam. Once you go into Gcam, there's a space between the last taken photo, that circle where the photos come and the shutter button. Double tap between that and you'll get a restore pop-up. Click on the restore pop-up, you'll see the XML file you have stored there. Just click on OK, your Gcam will restart with all suitable settings. And now let me show you how the pictures come. Right, so here is my shooting device and click click and there it goes a totally HDR beautiful image right but that's not it we need to see if the selfies come well I switched to portrait here and let me take a good selfie nice it took a good selfie here And that's it. You have installed Gcam on your phone, on your iQOO 3 and now you can enjoy the Gcam life on iQOO 3. That's all for this video guys. If you did like the video, please comment down below. Please like, share and subscribe. It will support the channel. And if you want more of such tutorials, down below is the link to my website where I will be posting all of these tutorials. So do follow that. Also there is a link to my Instagram channel. There is a link to my Instagram channel, but if you want all the guides and all the files, you can obviously go find my Telegram channel. That's all for this video, guys.